Henry, are you there? What, what the was that? Henry? I, holy hell, I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? What I the don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't. What? What the, the fuck, fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. What I'll, the uh, fuck? I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just... Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the hell? What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which oh, shit. is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Wait, what did I just see? Alright, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. No Maybe trespassing. Maybe got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Get through the fence. Whoppity. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Where's that? Look for controlled burns south of Ruby River. Okay, so where's Ruby River? Oh, Ruby River. Holy crap, way the hell out there? Okay, so... I gotta go south. <coughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait. This way, okay. This is fucking crazy, guys. Well, like, what the hell is going on? Like, this is insane. I, uh, just... I don't, I don't even know what to think right now. Like, this is fucking creepy as hell. And what was funny is that even on the thing, transcript it said, has feelings for Henry, and then, slash, like, maybe drunk. As I was thinking maybe the same thing, that she may have just been drunk. That's why I was like, I don't want to get this too personal. <coughs> I didn't want to be too okay with it, you know what I mean? I wanted to be kind of more hesitant. What is that?
Oh, this is the freaking bush. Um, okay. Anyways. I, this is fucking crazy. I'll, I'll see you guys if uh, anything else happens. Any more conversation or anything like that happens. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Tch. Okay, so I'll probably... South of the Two Forks lookout is probably where I need to go. I'll like cut through there and pass Cache 307 is what I'm thinking. If not that, then wherever the hell Medicine Wheel is? Whatever the hell that is. <coughs> okay, so just keep going east. That's pretty much what I need to do. Alright, boys. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. What the hell? Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Intercepting our frequency, telling me nothing. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. Cool. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Oh, wow. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. <laughs> I, I didn't even catch that until he said something. Okay, medicine wheel. Okay, so, yeah. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. His dad could protect him. Well, he had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're, you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Why can't I report a ski? Okay. Fire break. Uh, big tree. So I need, okay, so I need to start heading west now. Just that way. Not west. East. Sorry. I was like, that... I was As soon as I said that way, I was like, that doesn't sound right. Okay. Man, this is so creepy. Like, this is so weird. Like, it... it, it we're being listened in on. We're being watched. Like, it's just fucking weird. Yeah, it's a wrecked snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, there's an old 
pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Because <laughs> it's called Pork Pond? Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. It really would. That That's an amazing name. I, I don't blame them. All right, here we go. Camp. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna say that. Camp Arapaho. You're That's there. why. Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the fifties. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Alrighty, boys. Holy crap! Yeah, this thing is like falling apart. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. <laughs> well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeblow or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. Oh, that was a clove hitch. Ah, well, it's not that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblow do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. Oh, what? That missing person again, Mitch Michaels. Definitely features seen to facial hair. Uh, Mitch Michaels was last seen around John C. Lake. He was first reported missing July 81 by Forest Service. So he is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was around just in the middle of the morning. Um, another one, uh, seven. All right, so Mr. Mitch. Been missing for a while. Got rid there are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, that's actually fucking funny though. Okay. Anything else in the show? What is that? I'm oh, sorry, but doesn't that look like a like a sign or something? Like a sigil. Okay, I guess we're going this way. There's a tarp up. Firefighters are gone. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. Ooh. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the back country and getting through that fence. Hey. This is true. Nice. Toilet paper? I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. <sighs> Maybe drop it? I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? <laughs> now that's a real mystery. Oh. I should have known by the toilet paper. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's look at this. Look at this. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Memo from the boss. So it was Grant Carson, Wyoming, an uh, interagency hotshot crew, blah, blah, blah. Dr. Simmons at what PT station? Dr. Simmons at what PT station? They're for a region. Squad boss Carson. Oh, it's a reply. You and your team will be dropping into the Thurifo region in Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ru Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildlife, wildfire concerns about his research site. On your return, someone from his office will want to speak to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. Oh, excuse me. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. 
Um, but I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. Rich Tusarenko, assistant superintendent. Awesome. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Wapiti Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, that's so creepy to even think about. Alright, boys, this one's a bit, uh... Yeah, this has been fucking creepy, crazy. This is this is getting really fucking weird. I don't remember this like at all. I don't remember none of this crap. Wow, I, 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 I I'm not gonna lie. When I think about this game, all I can remember is like, man, it's a good, chill, like just good game, like just a chill game. This isn't chill. This is fucking creepy. So this is interesting. This is weird. This is not what I remember at all. But I'm going to go and end it right here for tonight. Um, so I will actually see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Peace. Bye.